Hello, the last time we derived the Sophie Germain identity, and now we are going to use that identity to solve this problem. We have to prove that 3 to the power 44 plus 4 to the power 29 is not a prime number. Let's recall what Sophie Germain identity says. So that says that if we have an expression like that, we can factor it as a plus b the whole square plus b squared multiplied by a minus b the quantity squared plus b squared. That's the Sophie Germain identity. When is something not prime? A number is not prime if I can write it as a times b, where a, b belong to the natural numbers and a and b are not equal to 1. That's what is not a prime number. For example, 6 is not a prime number because we can write it as 2 times 3 and so on. Great. Let's use that. Let's uh, write this in terms of Sophie Germain identity. Something to the power 4. What is 3 to the power 44 raised to the power? In fact, 3 to the power 44 is 3 to the power 11 to the 4th power plus 4 times 3 to the power 4. 4 times 4 to the power 28. That's cool. Because 4 to the power 28 can be written as 4 to the power 7 to the power 4. Cool. Now we can factor it in terms of the Sophie Germain identity. Let's write it. This would be the sum of 3 to the power 11 and 4 to the power 7 to the second power plus b squared. Here b is 4 to the power 7 squared, which is 4 to the power 14, multiplied by 4, uh, the difference 3 to the power 11 minus 4 to the power 7 squared plus this square plus 4 to the power 14. Clearly, I can write them as a product of two numbers and both of them are greater than 1 because we are adding something squared which is always greater than 1 to, four to something that is huge. So both of them are not 1. Hence, proved that 3 to the power 44 plus 4 to the power 29 is not a prime. In fact, its prime factor is 5 itself. You can check it out. Let's solve another problem. Let's prove n to the power 4 plus 4 to the power n is not prime for all n belong to natural numbers and greater than 1 because when you put 1 in that you get 5 which is a prime so that's an exception in that, in that case let's solve it now what can n be? n can be either an even number or it can be an odd number if it is, if it is an even number it implies that n can be written as 2a where a is a natural number. What if n is odd? This means that it is it leaves a remainder of 1 when we divide it by 2. So it is 2b plus 1 and b belongs to a natural number. Now let's go ahead and prove it. Case 1 n is even. Then what happens? Well if n is even, just put it in place of n n to the power 4 plus 4 to the power n this becomes 2a raised to the power 4 plus 4 to the power 2a which I can write as 16 a to the power 4 plus 16 to the power a we can always factor 16 out of it which means in fact yeah which means that this is always a multiple of 16 when n is when n is even and so it can never be prime because it is a multiple of 16. What is what what if n 
is even. N is odd, N is odd. What happens then? Let's try it. Let's put 2a plus 1 in place of this. In fact, let us just write n as it is, n to the power 4. Let us replace n by 2b plus 1 because we have already used a here. Let us replace n by 2b plus 1. What does that mean? n to the power 4 plus 4 raised to the power 2b, I write it as 4 times 4 raised to the power 2b because we can already always do that. In fact, I notice that 2, this is 2 squared, so I can write it as 2 to the power 4b. And I notice that by the laws of exponents, I can write it like that. Do you recognize this pattern? Yes, we can recognize it because this is the exact same thing as the Sophie domain identity. And it says that we can factor this out like this. This is n to the power 4, so n plus 2 raised to the power b squared plus 2b, 2 to the power 2b into n plus uh, n minus 2 to the power b the quantity squared plus 2 to the power 2b and since I can represent this as a product of two integers which are not 1 so n is n is not a prime because I could represent it as the product of two integers where none of them is 1 and in this case n is definitely not prime because it is a multiple of 16 it is a multiple of 16 that's it, job done thank you